Hello everyone and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 2521 the Lightning Dragon Battle. It has 645 pieces for ages 8 to 14 and is from the Ninjago series Masters of Spinjitsu and this set retails for $79.99. And before I continue I would like to give a shout out to LEGO Yoshi 111, Samek 101, The Sweet Guy 115, and HF Masters they are the subscribers who had requested that I review this set. So everyone check out their channels. And there were others, of course, but they already received a shout out in previous reviews. But anyway, moving forward, here in the front we see the dragon and the helicopter. And it looks like Jay is going to shoot the hostage, which is not good for Sensei Wu. So clearly, the master has taught you well. Over here we have the minifigures, more on that later. And here in the back, we can see that everything worked out, and it looks like they're going to win and beat up the skeletons over there. And I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up. Here are the minifigures, and first up is JDX, and he comes with the nunchucks of lightning, which is pretty nice. And there's the dragon on the front there, which is really cool looking, but I think it looks better on all the other ninjas. But then again, his is the one with the lightning coming out, which is really nice. And if you look at the other ninjas, they all have their respective elements. See, like Kai has fire over there. And the printing on the legs are different for all four, so I just want to point that out. And here in the face, you'll see that the eyebrow there is a little weird there. And that's on purpose, okay? It's not like they missed a spot or anything. And there's the back where you see his name, so this way you know who he is. And next we have Sensei Wu, who is new to the summer 2011 Ninjago sets, because he's wearing a black uniform this time around. And just to take a closer look, there it is. It's really nice. And here's the back. And you gotta love that dragon printing there. It's really cool looking. And just to show you guys real quick, that's his face without the beard, where he says, got milk. Next we have Frackjaw, who is new and exclusive to the set, for now at least. I won't be surprised if we see him again. And he comes with a silver battle mace. And he's wearing a red loincloth for good luck. And there's his face, not very attractive. And this body armor can come off. Okay, it's just one piece. There it is. Okay. Next we have Cruncha, who is also new. And he comes with a golden dark blade. And there he is. Okay, the head is one solid piece. It doesn't really move. And there we go. And the same thing with the shoulder pads. That can come off. It's got a nice skull medallion there in the front. Now, in one of my previous reviews, Okay, Dark Carnage 1234 had asked me if these fit on a minifigure. And yes, they do. And I'll take Vader, for example. Just put it over here. Okay, and it actually looks pretty cool. Alright, and there it is. And the helmet fits along with that. So we have one souped up Darth Vader there. It's really cool. And the same can be said for Fractal's body armor. And there we go. Although, this thing does look kind of thick. And the helmet doesn't really fit on there anyway. But there you go. Okay, it fits on a minifigure. Now let's take a look at the helicopter. Here is the helicopter, and as you can see, it looks really cool. Here it is from the front. It's pretty nice. There's the side. The top. Here is the bottom. Not much to it. And finally, we have the back. And like I said, it's really cool looking. And it looks like they spent a lot of time and effort here on the front. But you can't say the same for the back over here because it looks like they just took the stick here and just stuck it in the back there and called it a day. So I think they could have done a better job with that. But in the end, it still looks alright. And back to the front here, this jaw can open up like that. And that's the expression that they have when they see Nia. But since we're going to capture Sensei Wu, the old man, we'll just leave that closed. And this part can open up. And that's where you can put the pilot in there. And he gets to sit on that tongue over there, which you can see is pretty smooth. And that is something I would never do, no matter how cool your helicopter is. So we'll just take Frackjaw, because he'll do that. And we'll put him in there, and there we go. Okay, he's pretty loose, but there's really nothing you can do about that. So we'll just close that up. And on top here, we have a printed piece. It's not a sticker. Actually, this set doesn't come with any stickers at all, so that's a really nice feature. Over here, we have some flick fire missiles, and they have that skull detail over there. And you can shoot those, like that. And then we have these saw blades, as you saw earlier. Really nice. And on this side, we have a knob, where if you turn it, it will lower and raise the hook that you see over there. Okay? And what goes over there is this claw. Okay, it just hooks up to that hole over there. 
And this is what we'll use to capture Sensei Wu. There we go. Nice and neat. And we'll just hook it up back there. Okay, and just take them for a ride. And there we go. Okay. It's a little bit loose, which I think they probably were better off just attaching a string to the hole over there. But I guess it's okay in the end. Not too bad. All right. Now let's take a look at the dragon. Now, if you watched my Fire Temple review, you might remember me saying that I prefer dragons with two legs and that they look really cool that way. Well, I'm going to have to add to that now because after building this one, I gotta say, even the one with four legs are really cool too. And you'll know what I mean once I spread open the wings and show you this thing from the top. And there it is. How awesome is that? It's beautiful. I really like the way they made use of the colors over here. It's really nice. Very good job. And here it is from the side. There's the back. And here is the bottom. Not much to it, but it does look a little bit better than the other dragons. And here is the front. My favorite part about this dragon is the way they made the wings over here. Okay, they added some more clicky joints and now it's easier to pose it to do your stop motions if you want to flap the wings and stuff like that. Okay, and what I really like is that you can pull them back like this and now it looks like it's doing a dive, just like the stock market. Okay, it's really cool. Now, the only thing I don't like about this dragon is that you cannot arc this dragon like this. But then again, I can understand why because that would require putting ball and second joints over here and that would negatively affect the stability of the dragon while it's standing so I guess that's why they did it that way and speaking of ball and sockets that's how they made the legs they're all made the same way just like that and they can move like this and over here here's the tail and it can curl up and down and it can turn a full 360 All right. and up here is the head and it's just like the other ones except for the earth one and it has a different design and color to it and this time around you get a pair of blue balls hmm that didn't sound right now kids if you do not know what blue balls are I'll explain real quick okay basically those are the things that you jump into when you're at Chuck E. Cheese or Sesame Place okay I think most amusement parks have that so the next time you go you'll know what I mean alright and they look a little bit bigger than the ones over here but anyway moving forward you can put one over here and you just squeeze the head and that'll shoot the ball for you just like that pretty easy next we have a little seat and that's where we can put Jay so you can ride this thing and he has barrels on the sides here All right. and next on the top you'll notice that there are four spears they're not flick fire so they're definitely not going straight if you shoot them okay and we have two standards that are, are mounted over there pretty securely and overall it's really nice now if you look in the middle of the body here we have a lot of clicky joints here all over here and up there okay and if you want you can curl this thing so that it can be chewing on its tail just to show you how much this thing can curl up okay and there we go see that and there we go mmm electrifying and there we go very nicely done now to talk about the recommendations overall I say that this is a pretty good set despite the price okay when you look at the playabilities we have four minifigures two on each side so we have even teams the weapons are pretty decent and what I really like is that both sides comes with something to fly in okay we have the helicopter and the dragon which you saw earlier and they both have really good playable features just by themselves and when you look at it it's pretty even too because the helicopter has four missiles and the dragon has four spears and this head can shoot and this head can bite and both have tails that look pretty dangerous so I like the playable features a lot and that's why I say the playabilities are really really good however I do not like how it came with this little spinner over here because this is not even exclusive this is Crunch's spinner which you can get individually and it's a lot cheaper and on the subject of fairness I'm surprised that this set did not come with a spinner for Jay or Sensei Wu okay because it would have kept things even and maybe just a little bit more fun if you like the spinner stuff however since it doesn't come with one clearly I can live without this one especially since this is probably what drove the price up just by that much and that leads me to the value because it could have been better 645 pieces for $80 it comes out to about 12 and a half cents a piece which is borderline for me and when you look at the minifigures Jay and Crunchy is worth six to twelve dollars each since he was about nine to ten dollars and Frackjaw surprisingly even though he is exclusive he's only going for about four to eight dollars on eBay and Brinklink and the reason why is because he's also available in the skeleton chopper promotional set from Toys R Us 
which if you were to get it by itself, it comes out to about $4 anyway. However, that set does not come with the body armor, only this one does, and that's why this is exclusive over here. And it's for that little reason that you can get this or sell this for more than $4. Okay, so clearly the value could have been a lot better. But despite that, like I said, it's a pretty good set because the Dragon by itself is a winner. I really like it. I think they did a really good job. It looks great and it's got a good use of colors. So I think you'll like that Dragon too. And plus, this set easily complements any other Ninjago sets if you have any. And also, I would like to mention that this set has really good parts. It's got some good clicky joints which you can use for mechs. And I like this part over here. And in the end, I think it's a pretty worthwhile set to get. And I think you'll agree. And that sums up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.